Hey down, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a Nyan and Jungkook. I definitely wanted to get into some of these theories I have seen pop up, but also a video where it appears that Jungkook is in Nyan's home. Like, what is this? I also want to get into the recent news of Sujin leaving G Idol and what is going on with that. Some people think G Idol might end, so let's talk about all of this. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch, and let's jump into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. Any of you a hater, I'd like to be first if you hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing we'll get into today is some light and fun tea, which is the topic of Nyan and Jungkook. Now I believe this is one of the bigger dating rumors that has dropped with the Jungkook, aside from Taekook, Liz Cook, and I think IU. I believe Nyan comes in next as the top women Jungkook could be dating. I honestly have not seen too many public interactions between BTS and Twice, so people making these claims are interesting. As always, I'm not here to attack the ship. These ship videos are often made for entertainment purposes, and I'm here to also make a video for entertainment purposes because it's fun and interesting to look at what people think and kind of just have a little chit chat on this. One of the more weirder quote unquote evidence of the two are just photos that they take of themselves, selfies they take of themselves, and how they match up. One of the cutest photos that Jungkook has ever took was him by his bedside with his jacket and him making a kissy face. I imagine he was just on his way out to wreck the world and decided to just send us a pic. Jungkook captioned the pic with a kissy face, the same face he is making in the photo. And someone put this side by side with a picture Nyan uploaded with the same caption, except Nyan is not making a kissy face in the photo. She just has two kissy faces in the photo. And the theory behind it is when you send a photo to someone you're dating with a kissy emoji, maybe that person will send back two kissy faces to be cute. So it's like a couple thing. But wouldn't they just send that privately then? I want everyone to know I'm dating Jungkook. I'm just gonna copy every caption he makes. One of these days, there will be a compilation video of me and Jungkook dating, and thus my dreams are fulfilled. One of the other ones that I thought was very interesting, because usually the theories are like the ones I just mentioned, but this one was interesting. Interesting. This was when Arm was doing a live stream and Jungkook was just in the back being annoying and was like trying to karate chop him and kept doing that. Arm was like, stop, but our cookie baby doesn't stop. And that's what I like about him. And let's be honest, Jungkook's punches probably hurt. He can punch me any day. And then Arm said what people are assuming is Nyan's name. It sounded like Nyan to me, like the German word. What made it even weirder was that Jungkook left after. So people assumed that was like Arm being like, leave now or I'll expose your secret. Because it also appeared like Jungkook left the frame looking and defeat it. But like, I don't think Arm would do that even if Jungkook was really being annoying because that dating drama would affect BTS as a whole. People would assume if Jungkook was dating, what other members were dating. Just a big deal. So I don't think Arm was saying that, but what was he actually saying? I have no idea. Now, a more interesting theory that had recently surfaced was one involving Nyan and her live stream. A lot of these theories come from live streams, as you can imagine, because they're the most candid moments and moments that you capture raw and uncensored, including possible dating because sometimes these idols will stream at their home or more casual moments, so sometimes they might slip up and expose themselves. Or at least that's what some people are hoping, not necessarily to ruin their career, but just to get an inside look at their lives and stuff. Since there is this big curiosity on what the lives of K-pop idols are, it's a very sought after career. But I think before, people don't believe that these idols don't really date. But I honestly think they really avoid it, and it's not impossible to go years without dating or being, or being 30 and still be a virgin. It's not as uncommon as you think in K-pop or in Asian countries, and it's not seen as a bad thing. Now, I believe this was a stream, but you'll have to tell me exactly where it's from. But the theory is this screen grab showed someone walking through the frame, and it could be anyone, right? But no, that's not what these shippers think. It's Jungkook is what they think. Why wouldn't y'all think it's me? I'm married to every idol, it's obviously me. Joking aside, they grabbed this moment and found another moment of a picture that Jungkook took where he was wearing a tweed jacket. I think that's tweed. What is tweed? And they compared that the jacket looked similar similar to the person in the screen grab. And of course, hair and all that looks similar. The person in the screen grab looked like it could be a woman, and the hair actually longer than Jungkook's. Also, the face structure, even with the mask, doesn't look like Jungkook. But lastly, even if the style, outfit, hair are the same, Jungkook is what we know as a famous person. So people would be inspired to copy that style, right? I think so. I love Jungkook's style. I would definitely partake in the Jungkook fashion trends, should they be happening. We don't know who this person is. I don't think they were in twice, but whether they
they are a new upcoming artist, makeup artist, stylist, whoever, they might not have the budget to buy the freshest new clothes or hire a professional custom designer. So they take from the biggest artists, simple as that. But I do think this was a more interesting theory, but to some degree, it looks like Jungkook, but I was really examining it and it doesn't appear that much like Jungkook when you look closer anyway, just my theory. I cannot wait to hear more about what would be going on with Twice and possibly BTS in the future. Definitely more so hoping for that collab as per usual. I think it would be great. We're having a lot of news lately of girl groups and what is happening with them. One of the more recent and crazy ones is with Sujin from G Idol. I want to give some backstory, but I'm not going too in depth in it and I'll tell you why in a second. Sujin was allegedly accused of bullying someone and it was apparently a schoolmate. And then an actress who knew her apparently came out and said this as well. I say allegedly because Cube Entertainment, which G Idol's a part of, denied it and so did Sujin herself. So whether there was actually a big bullying thing going on, we don't know. I don't want to pick either side. Typically, I usually side with the victim, but I don't know if there's enough evidence here to say. And so if you're looking for more detail on this and people's theories and claims and all that, you can definitely Google that. The story was widely covered and has been covered for a few weeks now. It's a very controversial topic, so I didn't want to jump into it. But I guess it got to a boiling point. And usually when it gets to a point where the label and everyone around them is getting so much backlash and unwanted attention over this, something has to give in order for it to end. And apparently Cube Entertainment just announced that Sujin is leaving the group. But before they did, everyone was definitely thinking, what is going to happen to the future of the group? If Sujin did step down or what would happen? People were kind of predicting that Sujin might step down as typically we have seen in the past. When bullying scandals happen, someone steps down. There was even a hashtag that G Idol is six and that started trending. They obviously don't want this. And to think that the group is going to be over because when one member leaves, usually the group disbands. But that is only the case when they all wanted to do solo work already. It doesn't seem like they wanted to do solo work, but it seems more like Sujin might have her hands tied and maybe felt like she had to leave. Cube didn't really address this situation too much. They said, hello, this is Cube Entertainment. Firstly, we bow our heads in apology for concerning you with this matter of our company artists. CEO Sujin's controversy. We would like to inform you that it was decided that CEO Sujin will withdraw from the group effective today. In the future, G Idol will proceed to promote as a five member group and the company will do our best and unchangingly support the group so that they are able to show more mature sound and performance. Thank you. This definitely confirmed we don't have to worry about Cube disbanding G Idol right now. They seem to want to go as five. There's obviously a lot of protests to keep the six. I don't know what they're going to do. Obviously right now there's a big controversy going on and they don't want any of that to impact the group's future sales or anything like that. But I've also never heard of a member leaving and then rejoining. So it's kind of sad, but I am curious to see what happens next and specifically what Sujin is going to do. I don't think she is nothing without G Idol. I think she is very talented and will probably do great things as a solo artist when this blows over and it will. Right now, trust me when I say for Cube and for her even probably to make this decision, it must have been such a difficult thing. Thing. It's not a spur of the moment thing. In order for someone to step down, there's paperwork and lawyers and things. If I was Sujin and I didn't want to leave, my lawyers would probably fight to stay and the company's lawyers would probably fight because they didn't want the controversy to be associated with them. Please do not send death threats or attack anyone involved in what happened. Everyone right now in the situation is being bombarded with people talking to them about this. And I have said this before, if the situation gets to a point where it's loud for you and it's all the fandom is talking about and all your friends are talking about, it's death deafening on the idol's end. So let them heal. Let them deal with this as peacefully as they can. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check that out, I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. I currently do react to BTS reality TV show reactions, in the soup, all that sort of thing. You can even request things you'd like to see. We also have a great time interacting with each other over there as well. So if you'd like to see any of that, link is in the top of the description down below. There is a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you'd like to do that. That video is on the front page and it's free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on the screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.